Hey y'all, welcome back. We had a question regarding MA and when to change slice thickness and how to adjust techniques. So here's a quick overview of some of the things that we can go through to adjust if you have a bigger patient or a smaller patient and what you would do with the KV or the MA. So as of right now, just be aware that this is our dose length product and it's at two I mean, I'm sorry, 627 milligrays by centimeters. So just keep that in mind for now. Okay, so with the MA, oh, before we start, I just wanted to reiterate that we, in CT, this is a GE machine, we do not adjust the MA because it automatically calculates everything for us. So again, we don't adjust MA on most exams because the machine already calculates it for us. So when you click MA, this pops up. So that's the MA control. And you have the auto MA. So see how it's already adjusted to auto MA? You have a range and the machine's gonna calculate the minimum to the maximum. So in order for it to calculate the auto MA, we're gonna need a scout. So when we do our scouts, make sure you scout very well, you center very well, your ISO centered right into the center of the tube. So your axial line, your sagittal, and all that needs to be really nice and centered so that the machine gives you the correct calculations so that they can calculate what techniques needs to be used. And just to kind of overview, so let's say Right now we have a body, and this is the axial view of the body. So when the fulcrum point comes here and you're in the center right there, that's the fulcrum point, right? So the machine's gonna go in, the patient's gonna go in the helo in a helical spiral way. So they're gonna go in, this is your Z axis. So it's gonna determine from here to here, this is the thickest part of the body. So it's gonna calculate this here and this is gonna be the most technique, the most dose that it needs to go in. So the machine needs to know how thick is this person's anatomy. Same as this way, so this is AP, this is posterior. Posterior, anterior, right side, left side. So from your lateral side, how thick this part is, the computer's gonna calculate. And then from your anterior to posterior, the machine's gonna calculate how much technique you need. So that's why it's important to get your scout. Moving forward, so there's ways that we can adjust this. So first we're gonna talk about thin patients. So let's say the machine is set and you don't have any techniques for like a 14 year old, thin patient, let's say 95 pounds. I don't know, I'm just saying, right? Um, one way that you can switch this up is your range. So right now the computer is saying, oh, this number is gonna come out between this and this. So it's gonna calculate from our anatomy how much this is and how much this is. So there's a maximum, there's a maximum optimal number that it won't reach. So let's say the most number, let's say we wanna, sorry, I'm switching it up, but let's say this is a big patient and we wanna increase our technique we're gonna go 800, oops, but it's not gonna allow us because the maximum amount of technique that it can use is 670. But you do have a minimum, so if your patient is on a thinner side, you can actually go lower to like 30. And this is a way to ask the machine to, hey, calculate something that's lower. Another thing, oh, and the only time you, well, sometimes we'll use a manual, but that's like, for a head or a maxillary face or some extremities, but normally auto MA will do the trick and just let the machine work for you. So, okay, the other way besides the MA having the minimum and the maximum is your KV. So if you have a thinner patient like the 95 pound patient, you can change this to 100 kV, oh, and see how that DLP changed to 378 from 620 something. 
So that'll bump it down a little bit. But if you need more oomph and the patient's habitus is a lot bigger, you can also increase your KV. And then, and when you bump up your KV, your DLP also goes up to 863. And then this kind of gave you a little thing, right? So it's telling you something needs to happen. So whenever there's a color, probably need to go. Oh, that's the max. Never mind. Another thing is rotation time. Thicker the patient, you can increase your rotation so it's slower and you get more detail. If they're smaller, thinner, you can go faster. And if you need the machine to go fast because the patient keeps moving, this is how you do it. And speaking of helical, this is when your interpolation comes. So the first helical, because it's kind of like a spiral, so when you're first going through, the first scan is not, partial. is a partial scan, not a full circle. So then you just go like that. Um, and don't forget, once you do the scan, it gets your AP and your lateral, you get an MA table. And it's somewhere over here when it's actually scanned, but we don't have anything scanned, so it's not gonna show your MA table. And that'll help you determine whether you need to bump it up or not. If all the numbers are the same, it's gonna list like rows of number, and if they're the same, that means you need to change your technique. And if they're not, then that means you're good. So that's all we got. Okay, toodles noodles, bye.